our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You are welcome today to our daily charge program with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. It is well with you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to bring out your own uh, Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional so that we can enjoy the Lord at this moment. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for you are our God. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege you have given us to be your children and to be in your presence at this time of the day in the daily charge program. Father, take all the glory and honor forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Here we are in your presence, O Lord. We soak our lives in the blood of Jesus Christ. And we ask that the precious blood of Jesus may sanctify and purify every area of our lives in Jesus' name. But as we go into your word, the daily charge, we pray, Holy Spirit Divine, come and be with us. Come and take absolute control. Come and lead us in the way that we should go. Come and open our eyes, O Lord. Cause us to behold wonderful things out of thy love. Let the entrance of your word give us light and give us understanding and set our feet in your own part of this in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit divine, take us in control. Bless us, see Lord, deliver us. Meet us at the point of our need, but at the end we shall have every reason to glorify and exalt you forever. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to open to where we have for today. Today being Sunday, the 22nd day of September in this year, 2024. Our topic for today says divine power of recreation. Divine power of recreation. And our memory verse is taken from John's Gospel chapter 1, verse 3. Memory verse comes from John's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 3. And he says, All things we are made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. All things we are made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. A motivational quote says, Encounter with the Holy Spirit is the key to destiny restoration. A prophetic word for today says, The Holy Spirit will fill and overshadow your life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our fire scripture for today is taken from Mark's Gospel, chapter 5. Mark's Gospel, chapter 5, beginning from verse 1 to 20. I want you to take your Bible and open together with me to Mark's Gospel, chapter 5. And we start from verse 1. I read from the New International Version of the Bible. And it goes like this. They went across the lake to the region of the Gerasenes. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs, and no one could bind him anymore not even with a chain, for he had often been chained hand and foot. But he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Verse 5. Night and day, among the tombs and in the hills, he would cry out, and caught himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted 
at the top of his voice. What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? In God's name, don't torture me. For Jesus said to him, come out of this man, you impure spirit. Then Jesus asked him, what is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many. And he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. A large herd of pigs were feeding on the nearby hillside. The demons begged Jesus, send us among the pigs, allow us to go into them. He gave them permission, and the impure spirit came out and went into the pigs. The herd, about 2,000 in number, rushed down the steep bank into the lake, and we are drowned. That's why we are going to stop for now, and let's get into the Word of God. Our topic says, Divine Power of Recreation. What does it mean to recreate? It means to refresh by means of relaxation and by means of enjoyment. Recreation means to restore physically or mentally or to renew and to reset. Divine power of recreation is talking about the usage of the power of God to restore an individual physically or mentally. In our fire scripture of today, we see our Lord Jesus Christ recreating the madman of Gadara. In today's fire scripture, we see our Lord Jesus Christ restoring the madman of Gadara to his perfect health. This madman at Gadara, he was totally and thoroughly insane. All efforts made to restore sanity to him failed. They all proved abortive. They tried to chain him and to chain him down. But the demons in him gave him great strength to break the chains and to run stark raving mad. This madman of Gadara dwelt among the tombs and he dwelt in the hills also. And he kept on crying out under the torment and torture of the demons. And he kept on cutting himself with stones. No man was able to come near to him to help him. It was when our Lord Jesus Christ came to where he was that he got healed and got recreated. Our Lord Jesus Christ cast out the demons that were in him. The demons gave their name as legion, saying that they were many. And the demons begged Jesus Christ that they should be cast into the pigs that were grazing there. Jesus gave the command. So the demons entered into about 2,000 pigs and they ran into the sea and got drowned. People were amazed. There is nothing that God cannot do. We'll go for a short break and we'll be back soon. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. You are welcome back to our daily church in the name of Jesus Christ. We are still on the topic that says divine power of recreation. We have seen how our Lord Jesus Christ recreated the life of the madman of Gadara. Now, we realize that he was healed completely and the demons we are permitted by our Lord Jesus Christ to go into the swine, the, the pigs that we are feeding in that neighborhood, about 2,000 of them. And when they were permitted, they entered the pigs and the pigs rushed down into the sea and they were all drowned. People were amazed. In the meantime, the former madman became totally healed and he was dressed in his right mind, that he, he dressed properly as somebody that was healed and sane, and he sat at the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. He wanted to go and follow Jesus to go away, but our Lord instructed him that he should go back to the place where he came from and testify to people and tell them the wonderful things that God Almighty has done for him, how God recreated him. Therefore, this healed man went into the Decapolis, which is ten cities, and began to testify all of all that God had done for him. Thus, from a madman, God recreated him to become an evangelist. God Almighty is in the business of recreating people. I do not know what you are facing or what you are passing through, what challenge, what situation you are facing. Know that God Almighty is here today to step into your situation and you recreate your life, recreate your situation for the better, for the best, and for the excellent in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God recreates human beings in their spirits, in their souls, and in their bodies. God also recreates every area, every other area of the life and situation of those who call upon His holy name to His own glory. In the area of salvation, our Lord Jesus Christ said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You will see this in the book of Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11, verse 28. Jesus Christ recreates many souls. Jesus Christ recreates many souls and 
he gives them full salvation. No wonder the Holy Spirit says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, that therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. I pray for you today that the recreating and recreative hand of God will come upon your life, upon your spirit, upon your soul, upon your body, upon every area of your life, your family, your job, your business, your means of livelihood, your, your staff of bread, that our God will recreate everything about your life for the best, for the excellent, to your joy, and to the glory of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to talk about Rahab the harlot. He was a sinner. She was an open and notorious sinner. When she had opportunity to be recreated, she seized that opportunity. She provided shelter and protection and security for the two spies of Israel in the wilderness. When they came to Jericho to spy out the city, by this act of faith, Rahab showed that she had trust and belief in the God of Israel. Thus, God gave her a place in the lineage of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was typified by the red or scarlet rope that was dropped from her window. This scarlet or red rope was a type of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed on the cross for you and I. I want to ask you today, do you recognize and do you realize when God gives you divine opportunities, do you seize your own divine opportunities? I pray for you from now on, you shall always seize divine opportunities that God makes available to you, even to your own advantage and blessing. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. We want to talk about Ruth, the Moabites. She also received divine recreation. She was born an idol worshiper. She married an Israelite man who died before long. When it was time for her to be recreated from idolatry, to the true worship of the God of Israel, she chose to follow and worship the God of Israel. In making her choice, she said to Naomi, her mother-in-law, she said, Entreat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God shall be my God. Where thou diest, I will die. And there will I be buried. You see it in the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. By her faith, Ruth received spiritual and divine recreation from God. And God gave her the special privilege and favor of entering into the lineage of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is because she chose to accept and to worship the God of Israel. 
in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. Our Lord Jesus Christ saw Simon Peter and his brother Andrew by the Sea of Galilee. And he gave them the call to follow him. They were fishermen. Jesus Christ told them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. The Bible says that immediately Simon Peter and Andrew, his brother, left their nets and followed Jesus Christ. This act of faith and immediate obedience to our Lord Jesus Christ brought divine recreation to Simon Peter and to Andrew. Others of the twelve disciples had similar experiences in following our Lord Jesus Christ. Thus, they were all converted from being fishers of fish to fishers of men. No wonder the Bible says that, for by grace are ye saved through faith. We'll go for a short break and be back. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. You are welcome back in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are still on the topic that said the power of divine recreation. We see that the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, they exercised faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. So, the grace of God recreated them. I pray for you today, even as you are listening and you are meditating and you are believing this word of God, our Lord Jesus Christ shall recreate your spirit, your soul, your body, and shall become a new man in Christ, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to talk about Zacchaeus the tax collector. He was a rich man, but he knew that all was not well with him. He lacked the peace of God Almighty. When he heard that our Lord Jesus Christ was passing by, he climbed a tree so that he could see our Lord Jesus Christ. This was because he was a short man. He was of a small stature. When Jesus Christ came along near the tree, he looked up and said to Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, come down. And our Lord Jesus Christ told him that he would visit his house that day. Zacchaeus was overjoyed 
and he obeyed our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, some people murmured and they said, why is our Lord Jesus Christ going to the house of a sinner? But Zacchaeus was happy because the power and the Lord of divine recreation had come to him. And Zacchaeus promised our Lord Jesus Christ that he will restore everything that he has taken from other people unlawfully. The things that he took illegally as a tax collector, the money that he collected from people. He promised our Lord Jesus Christ that he will return them to them. That is called restitution. That is restoring to other people things that were wrongfully and unlawfully collected from them or exported from them. So he followed our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, Zacchaeus was divinely recreated through his repentance from sins and through accepting our Lord Jesus Christ as his Lord and his personal Savior. Cornelius, the centurion, and his family also submitted to God Almighty and they were recreated and they got the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Saul of Tarsus, on his way to Damascus, got a visitation from heaven, divine visitation, and he himself also repented and called Jesus Christ my Lord, and his life was also recreated. Divine recreation is necessary for you, is necessary for me, is necessary for all that want to enjoy all that God has in mind for them. I want to ask you, are you born again? Have you been divinely recreated? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? This is your opportunity. Ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come into your heart and you become your Lord and your Savior and you will become immediately divinely recreated. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to pray this prayer with me without delay. Pray it loud and clear. Power of evil recreation. My life is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Power of evil recreation. My life is not your candidate. Die in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. Bless your children throughout this day and forever. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.